Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie, if you're new here. So I have this product that I wanna share with you guys. And I've wanted to have one of these, I think it was maybe like a year or so ago, I found somebody else that was using it. And I was gonna purchase one at the time, but we ended up getting something a little bit bigger because I had so many eggs at so many times. So we ended up getting a incubator that I think I could do like up to, I'm trying to think, I was gonna look at it before I started this video and I forgot to do that, but I have a bigger size incubator and I shared it in other videos of us hatching uh, some eggs from it. Now this year I'm going to be doing the same thing, but it is January and I got this product from, from a company so I'm going to do it a little earlier than normal. Now this incubator only holds up to 10 eggs. So I'm gonna wash um, some of these eggs and get them in here. So one of the things with doing incubation is you have to wash off your eggs first. So these are pretty clean, but they're not washed. So like this one right here is dirty to wipe them off first and do that. So with this one, we're gonna keep this one in the house. We're actually gonna put it in our homeschool area. I'm just gonna be wiping down the eggs right here and then I will show you how we're gonna go about doing this. I have a couple in the basket right here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This was from today. And then some of these were from yesterday. So I'm kind of going to do a little bit of a mix of color and see what comes from the eggs that I put in there. a good mix of different ones. Um, I'm putting a little tiny one in there. We'll see what we get. I'm not really good yet with the different names of chickens and what we all have. We actually have a good mix out because of how many times we've incubated and um, what breeds that we already have out there. So we're just gonna go with this um, and just see what comes from it. So if I want to, what I can do is, I'm doing this incubator because I want to share it with you, but also when spring comes, I am going to be getting different breeds from somebody else that we're gonna try to hatch out. So um, we'll deal with that then. So we might do some of the mixed breed, or not, I shouldn't say mix. So some of the ones that we're gonna do in springtime are going to be special ones that we might not maybe mix with some of our other ones. I'm not quite sure what we're gonna do yet, but we kinda wanna change up some of our breeds. Um, but we're gonna do these for today and we're gonna see what comes from these and it's a, gonna be exciting to watch and see um, and see them hatch through that little, little thing. So I'm gonna unpackage it here. I pulled it out already, but I didn't like fully read the instructions on it because I'm thinking that it's pretty similar to um, what we have already. Um, maybe you guys can help me when I get to the point of putting them in. So we have 10, 10 eggs. Huh? Because it's see-through. Yep, it's see-through, so that's gonna be super cool. No, see, you can see through. See through. That's why it's called see-through. Okay. Well, you can see through, see, see. It has the two trays, and you just put it together like that. So another thing that you need to attach, which with ours out in the garage that we have, we just put either a wet sponge in there or I put water in one of the, uh, they have little holes in there that you just put the water in. But on this one, you need a water bottle and it comes with a little thing like here. So I will be putting, let me show you quick. 
So on the times when I need to up the humidity, I will be putting warm water in there and that'll help with that. So I will do that after I get all the eggs in there. So I have all the eggs up to the side here. And let me just get it started here. I'm not gonna be keeping the incubator over here, but I'm gonna, just gonna show you the setup on how to do it. So in the instruction books or the instruction book that it comes with, um, it has, let's see, oh, maybe I can do more. Oh, it comes with 10, I gotta do 10. So hold on one second. Let's see. Okay, so you can do 12. It's a dozen. I knew that when I first opened the package and I kind of forgot. All right, so we have 12 in here right now. And it is saying in this instructions compared to ours is that um, turn eggs two to three times a day manually during setter period but stop in hatcher period so up to three days before um the time of hatching which is 21 days altogether. so three days before that 17 18 19, 20 or so 18 days um we will be taking the trays out and we will put the eggs underneath the tray and another thing that it says in here, which is kind of cool. So once you put the cover on and if your heat isn't to where it should be on your monitor here, they said to take this and put this on top and that'll help keep the heat in the incubator. So that's what we're gonna do if we can't keep it regulated. This time I'm gonna have it in the house. So I think our heat and everything should be fine with that as long as you're putting in warm water in your cup. Um, the fifth or sixth day we're going to check them to see if they if there's any of them that are fertile and um are probably going to make it so that is what we're going to do and then a couple days before they start hatching we're going to take the trays out and we're just going to put them inside and they'll hatch that way these over to the school area and then we can keep an eye on them i'll fill up my water bottle and get that set So I have the incubator all set up. It's just gonna stay right here by our homeschool area and we'll keep an eye on it. And I'll come back on and do little videos here and there on our process of incubating. So I put the warm water in and the temperature is rising. So that is good. And it needs to get up to like 99 or 100 or something like that. So just right around there. Um, so this one is a lot different than the ones that we are used to, um, but I like that we're able to watch it. I think it's going to be fun for the kids.
always fun to see what all colors that they're gonna be. There's so many of them this morning. So how many hash? We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven so far. And seven. And we had eleven in well, I put twelve in there, but one one back. Three eggs aren't hatched. Three eggs aren't hatched. But one was going to hatch. Yeah. But it didn't. The little green one didn't hatch it.